back with another video. Um, if you are not already, remember to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and leave a comment down below. Today, I want to talk to you guys about um, moving forward, letting things go, letting people go different places, just starting to surround yourself around just more things that make you happy. Um, a couple weeks ago, I was just like really going through something on my job and it was just starting to really frustrate me you know i was just like just wanting things to be a certain way people around me not doing those things a certain way you know going to the people who was in charge on my job and them not really handling the situation and you know it just really started to frustrate me and i was really starting to feel like you know i'm tired of being on a job where i feel unhappy the last job that i had before the job i work now I was on that job for like five or six years, um, I think like five years. And, you know, it just started getting to a point where I dreaded getting up. I didn't want to go to work. And, you know, just I just felt like the devil was just always trying to attack me on my job. Like just the people around me just, it was just always something. And um, I started praying every day before I went into my job. And, you know, I started speaking myself out of that job. I started, I will pull up to my job, I will pray about it, and I'm like, you know what, one day, this is going to be my last day driving up to this job. It's going to be my last day walking into this job. This is going to be my last day leaving this job. Like, you know, just speaking it, just like telling the Lord, like, this is not for me anymore, you know, and I'm just speaking this into existence that soon and very soon, I'm going to be leaving this job. And, you know, I want to say like a couple of months later, a job opportunity came up for me through a friend. And I started, I want to say that same month I started, like the end of that month I started. And um, I was still doing both jobs. And I was like, you know, I spoke my way out of this job. I'm not going to keep staying here after I told the Lord that I wanted another job. He blessed me with another job. And now I'm still working this job too. So I eventually put in my two weeks and, you know, I left the job completely. Um, so I got on with my new job now and... I have different cases that I do and one of the cases that I work it was just like you know a lot going on and like I said I would complain to the people who are in charge of the house and you know they weren't really doing anything about it and made it seem like as if I was come you know like making a big deal out of what was going on when honestly it was something that we should all have been doing you know as one as a team working together and a lot of people weren't doing it and, you know, it started to get frustrating because I'm like, you know, if we're all here to do the same job, not just one person or two people should be left just to do the job while other people aren't doing it. And, you know, it got me really upset. And, you know, it was just like, it just became frustrating. And the Lord reminded me, like, the same way you spoke yourself out of your last job, do that with this job too, you know? Once you're not happy with any situation, if it's a job, a relationship, a friendship, whatever it is, remove yourself. You have to know when it's time to let go of certain things and certain people. Sometimes we'll stay in a certain spot for too long when our season has already been up in that specific situation. And we have to know when it's time to let go. You know, sometimes we just want to hold on to certain things or certain people because we're comfortable. You know, we're content with where, we, where we're at. Even though we want more, it's just at that moment we're content. And we just have to know when to let go. You know, sometimes it can be hard because you don't know what's next or you're afraid of what's next. Or, you know, say for instance, if you're in a relationship and you know that it's not good for you, but you love that person and, you know, you're scared to move on or you just don't want to be in another relationship starting over. Like, you have to know when to let go and when something is no longer good for you, you know? Like the Lord is not gonna give us a mess. He's always gonna give us better than what we left prior to that. And, you know, I started, I just pray about it. Like, you know, Lord, I know that you have so much more for me and I'm not gonna continue to let the devil, you know, get to me while I'm on my job, you know, until I find something different. I'm just gonna come in, do what it is I need to do and, you know, just for my own sanity until the Lord sees fit for me to move forward, you know? And like I said, that's with any situation. But sometimes we do have that power to, you know, just get up and leave. 
and know that there's so much more ahead of us and that we don't have to stay stagnant in that situation. And I mean, I've been there too with friendships, relationships, you know, even family. Like, yes, your family is your blood or whatever, but sometimes you don't have to stay stuck around that person, around those same people. Sometimes you can be around people and they'll drag you down too, whoever it is. Like, you know, and when you want to change your life around or you want to stop hanging with certain people because you want to start changing, but you're afraid of what other people are going to think about you. Like, we can't think about that stuff. We can't worry about that type of stuff. Like, if you're around certain people and you're doing what they're doing, but then you start to look at it and you're like, you know, this is not for me anymore. You know, you have to remove yourself from that type of crowd. I've been in that situation. I was doing things that I shouldn't have been doing, you know, things that I shouldn't have even thought about doing. But I did it because of the crowd that I was hanging around. Not that it was peer pressure. I mean, I'm grown. I make my own decisions. But sometimes we're just in that type of crowd, you know, and we just do things that we really shouldn't be doing. But it takes us to have to get up, remove ourselves from that situation and just keep moving forward. You know, if a person gets mad at you about it because they feel like you're acting different or then they were never really your friend in the beginning. You know, you have to know that some things are just not for you anymore. You got to know when to get up, remove yourself and change for the better for you. Because, and, and it's going to be like that. Like, trust me, it's going to be like that. Because when I started doing my channel and, um, you know, a lot of people, they look at me different and I don't care. I don't care how people feel about what I do on my channel, about me reaching out to people, wanting to encourage them, wanting to talk about the Lord and reading my Bible, praying like, I don't care because this is my life. This is my calling. This is what the Lord told me to do. And I love doing this. Of course, people are going to look at you like, oh, you know, you always all talking about the Lord and you always doing this or doing that. Okay. And that's fine. <laughs> you know, like, I don't feel like I get on here and I pressure you guys into having to read your Bible or having to pray or telling you, oh, you have to love the Lord. You have to do this. Like, no, I get on here. I share with you guys how I feel. I share my testimonies. I tell you guys that I've been through what I've been through and I let you take it for, you know, your own, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Just basically taking it however you want to take it. I wanted to encourage you guys, you know, Everybody who watches my channel probably isn't a Christian. They probably don't even believe in God. But you never know what you can do when you get on and you, you start talking to somebody about something. You start sharing a testimony. You never know how you can change somebody's life. And that's why I just say, like, don't worry about what other people think when you feel like you have to remove yourself from a certain situation. People are going to talk. That's what they do, you know? If you leave a relationship and a, the person that you're with feels like, you know, you're wrong for leaving them, but you know that it's not good for you, oh well. Because nine times, nine times out of ten, that person knows that it's not good for them either. And if it's a job, if your job gets upset because you're leaving, they'll always find somebody to replace you. You know that that job is no longer good for you. So you get up and you leave. You find something else that's going to make you happy. You know, if it's friends that you're around who's doing things that you no longer want to do because you just want to do better. If they feel like they want to judge you off of that, then let them. Because you bettering yourself should not be a problem to them if they're your real friend. If anything, it should encourage them to want to do better too, you know. So... Like I said, whatever it is that you you're, you might be going through and you feel like you just want to change it, just you got to know when to let go and you have to trust in God and know that, you know, he's going to make a way regardless of whatever it is that you might be going through. He's going to make a way. He's going to open new doors for you. And it's just going to feel so much better. You know, you're going to be so much happier and in such a better headspace mentally and physically, emotionally, spiritually. So many different ways you're just going to feel like a completely new person because you've left whatever it was that was making you feel bad or draining you or just, you know, just not making you feel happy. So um, I just want to get on here and talk to you guys about that because that was just something that I had been going through. Um, I'm still on the job, but I do different hours. So, 
you know, I don't, I don't have to deal with what I was dealing with before, but I know too that I'm going to continue to speak my way out of that job, you know, because I know that God has something better for me. It's always going to be something better. I always feel that when you leave one thing, it always leads to something new, you know, something better, something different, just, just a whole new start. So, um, I just wanted to get on here and talk to you guys about that. Um, just a quick little testimony to share with you guys and just encourage you to just keep moving forward. You know, don't look back. Don't worry about what people are going to say, what people are going to think. Like I said, people are always going to talk. You just keep being you, keep being who God called you to be, and you'll be perfectly fine. I love you guys so much. Thanks again for tuning in. If you are not already, subscribe to my channel, like this video, and leave a comment down below. I love you guys. Bye.